Hello and welcome to BuggleBots, the show where pint-sized robotic prize fighters are going to knock lumps out of each other for your entertainment. In these pits, we've got 30 robots weighing in at just one and a half kilograms, but believe me, they hit hard. This you do not want to miss. Welcome to BuggleBots. My name's Darren, from Steventon in Oxfordshire. A robot is serious business and it's a thwack spinner. So it's a spinner mounted vertically on the front of a robot, which is not the traditional way. Main tactics are going in for sides, going in for the back, spinning around, destroying anything we can. Uh, hello, I'm Tyler Nguyen and I'm from Washington DC in the United States and the name of my robot is Captain Doom. My robot pushes the other robot into the wall and hopefully into the pit. And um, its strength is it has a high pushing power. I'm here with Serious Business and Captain Doom. First to Serious Business. Darren, this is quite a unique robot. I've never seen anything like this before. Tell me about it. Um, well, I started off design as just a, a thwack bot as you would do um, but they didn't seem to have many active weapons so I thought stick a blade on the end of it that would be a good idea why not and who is this uh, I'm his other half I uh, put up with this <laughs> now I'm told there's a little story behind why it's called serious business what's this story well you talk to a lot of people who drive robots and they're like oh it's like a little toy RC car it's, like, it's, not, a, it's not a car it's serious business Robots are serious business. Oh, good luck, guys. Uh, next to Captain Doom with Tyler. Now, you've won a lot of medals in the US. You've come all the way from America to join us. What have you won over there? Um, well, the list is long, but Robo Games 2018, uh, Pen Sword 2017, and I think sp yeah, oh, I got second place in Pen Sword 2017. First place Pen Sword 2018. First place um, Spring Fling 2017. First place Fall um, Pen Bots Fall Brawl 2016. And yeah, that's all. I remember. Oh wait, Clash of Bots 2018. So you're not someone to be messed with, are you? What's your tactic against serious business? Uh, my tactic is. Make sure um, the wedge is facing him. Well, that's basically my tactic. And my tactic was also make the wedge low so that his saw doesn't slice the underside of my wedge. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Just a quick breakdown of our competition. Our fights last for three minutes. You can win by brutalizing your opponent until they can't answer a 10 count from our referees, Tim and Shane. Why not flip them out of the arena for a victory? Or overpower them and throw them in the pit. And remember, 30 seconds into the fight, that's when our pit button is enabled. If your fight goes the full three minutes, our judges step in. Anita van der Meer, Kane Aston, and Ian Botwright. And they'll be judging the fights based on the criteria of control, damage, and aggression. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. And in comes Captain Doom there, box rushing serious business. That little nine-year-old there, Tyler, he's not to be messed with. Serious business trying to get the saw up to speed but not having much success. It looks like it's catching on the front caster and lifting the drive wheels off the ground. Now those casters are necessary to keep the saw off the ground. Oh, I'd say that, the saw's gone! Off comes the primary weapon and that is serious business. It's serious problems. Serious business has now reduced your ram bot, but because it's not been designed that way, it probably will struggle this, whereas Captain Doom is pretty much designed around keeping that front wedge facing its enemy. Captain Doom causing some doom for them in that corner of the arena. Nine-year-old Tyler demonstrating here why he's won so many different competitions in the States. It was a list longer than my, well, it's long, let's just say, unlike this fight, which is wrapping up here, serious business, serious trouble, serious problems. Captain Doom is staying right on top of serious business, never giving him a chance to get near anything. You have oh. to admire the power of that drive that has rammed them into the sidewall, and that looks to be the count now. Seven, six, this could be it, unless serious five, business can get itself four, off, but it's not looking three, good. 
two, one. And that is a win for Captain Doom. What win for Captain Doom? That was truly frightening. Didn't really go well, though, did it? No, not any any part of that went well. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you've you've just been beaten by by a nine year old. Um, I mean, he's very good. He like, let's uh, let's give him that. They, they were listing off his achievements in the uh, the pre match and. I'm surprised it lasted that long, to be honest. That's, <laughs> that's an achievement. I mean, you're going to have to put your nose back on um, before you before you come back for the loser's melee. But, but other than that, do you reckon you'll be back? Mm, yeah. Fighting fit? Easy. easy. Not a problem. Excellent. Not a problem. Right. Give it up for serious business. <laughs> well, how about that then? Um, you absolutely dominated that, didn't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, when his saw came off? I was actually surprised that I did that much damage to an opponent with a wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Shade here. So, so now you've had a chance to get your robot out and, and running in the arena. How are you feeling about your chances? Are you feeling are you feeling confident? Extremely. Ooh. <laughs> Watch out, everybody else, because Tyler and Captain Doom are coming for you. Give it up for Captain Doom! <laughs> Amazing, amazing. Could have gone better, for sure. Um, not too much damage taken, but just kind of locked up a couple of bits. Just need to get those running again. Good to go. Uh, so my name's Henry, I'm from Yeovil down in Somerset. My robot is Good Boy. Aside from being the cutest robot in the competition, it is also a pusher um, with a really heavily armed front wind to try and break any kind of big spinners. Just keep going, keep pushing them, and just hope that eventually we either break them on our face or push them out of the arena. Uh, I'm Elizabeth, I'm from Bolton, and our robot is uh, Nightingale, and it has an overhead saw. And we're going to hopefully cut the enemy in half. I am here with Good Boy and Nightingale. First, Good Boy, Henry, tell me about Good Boy. I mean, Good Boy is obviously the goodest of boys. That's the most important thing that we all need to be very clear on here. But its main role is it's a two-wheel pusher, uh, heavily armed front end, designed to break spinners. That's its main purpose. Oh, it's yeah. got a little... Yes, tell me about this. What is yeah. this? Well, we have a secret weapon. You won't have seen it on the turntable because we added it later. We didn't want people to know about it. It's a little, little articulable tale. Is there somebody else going to be operating this? There will be. There will be um, uh, later down the line. We're definitely going to have someone else operating it. So, you know, maximum distraction factor. So what's your strategy for winning your fight? Uh, mostly just push them up against the wall. Just keep going and, and, and keep hitting them. Good boy's very well armoured. And who isn't going to feel bad about chopping into that cute little dog face? That's true. Okay, next over to Nightingale. Elizabeth, tell me a bit about Nightingale. Well, we have a uh, overhead saw uh, that we've not actually tested against anything, so it could either cut through whatever it gets put up against, or it could just completely go bouncing off. We're not quite sure. What's your strategy against Good Boy? Hopefully try to get under him and push him to the wall and try to drop the saw down on top of the uh, dog. So how does the saw work? Uh, it's got a large Brussels motor that um, powers the saw, and then it's got a ser separate servo that moves it all the way over and all the way back. Awesome. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck, both of you. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Nightingale charging out. They're getting the sword down already to get it rolling, but seem to be having drive problems. Yeah, you're supposed to hit each other. That's how this usually works. They've got a good chance there to come in, Nightingale, and use those little wedges on the front and get that saw over. Good boy, not listening to its owner at the moment. Come on! Oh, good boy, throwing a wheel! That's all right, he's still got the tail to wag around and try and use that as a crutch. Still got control movement. He's got late. the waggling stick on the back. <laughs> the saw coming down, but the oh. saw doesn't appear to be... That's the motor. That red thing you can see hanging out the back is actually the drive motor for the saw. So that essentially now renders Nightingale's weaponry as effective as Good Boy's little waggling tail as the pit goes down. So it suddenly evened out the match as Nightingale tries to bring down the vicious um, slapping arm. <laughs> the only way I can describe that. Roll Big over. Powerful drive from Nightingale though. 
the crowd cheering for the pit, and I think they're going to get it, but both machines... One machine's going to get it, that's for Closely certain. at the edge, and Nightingale has to be very careful here, and what an upset this would be! Nightingale, one of the wheels caught on the lip of the pit there. Nightingale stuck on the pit, but good boy with only one wheel, can't capitalise on the situation. But this is not going to go well! They're right on the edge! Look at that concentration! And Nightingale got itself free! Oh. That there from young Elizabeth is some fantastic driving. Drives surprisingly well with one wheel. Good so boy not doing too badly despite only having one <laughs> paw left to traips around the arena floor. Nightingale moving away from the pit now, trying to give itself some breathing room. Obviously having some control issues and not wanting to have an accidental oh, error and drive itself in the pit. Now it becomes a war of attrition. Which machine's got the stronger drive? Which one can maneuver the other toward the pit? Nightingale with the drive problems. Good boy, only one wheel. Nightingale now ramming them into the corner. The audience on tenterhooks, apart from one guy who's clearly gone to make a cup of tea because nothing's getting sliced up. I am still recovering from a minor heart attack that I just had there from the two of them dancing around the side of the pit. What are they to me again? This is an... The beautiful display of driving from Good Boy. One wheel, and he's still managing to keep himself competitive and in this. Great skill, great control. I like how I said that, and now he's started to die in the corner, but Nightingale coming <laughs> in again. Oh, my nerves can't take this. Oh, I, I, I need some Ritalin. This is going to get bad. Good Boy lined up. Deservedly so. What an excellent fight that was. There was six seconds left on the clock. Uh, I think we've now realized the problems with having tennis balls as your robot's wheels. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll admit there was problems. It wasn't supposed to come off. We had a bit of drive issue straight at the start, but I think it's probably something we can fix. A bit of Loctite superglue. Yeah, excellent. Yep, you are, you're not out of the competition yet. You're, you're still through to the loser's melee. Yeah. Um, I want to say as well, um, some fantastic dodging when they were trying to get you Thank in the you. pit at the end. Thank you, yeah. It was kind of just a case of hoping that it went the right direction because I had no idea which way it was going to go when I moved the stick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with one wheel, like, you steered pretty well. Very, 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 you know, hard luck. And uh, we'll see you in the loser's melee. Thank you. Team Nightingale. Ooh. Not bad to start off with a win, eh? No, for some reason the uh, the entire mortar for the spinner just came off, so the saw went pretty early. What were you doing dancing over the pit? You're supposed to put the opponent in the pit, you know, not not yourselves. Yeah, the uh, the bits we've used inside, the uh, electronics are quite cheap, so I didn't want to kind of go full power. I didn't want to drive myself in, so I was trying to be very, 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 very edgy, very careful. Well, it doesn't matter. You're through at the semi-finals, and we will see you there. Give it up for Team Nightingale! Thank you very much. So hopefully, with these on it and everything, be nice and fast and ready to go for the next one. That's the point. Tell still work. Tell still work. Well, my robot is Futamishi. It's got uh, an axe. And we're just gonna punch straight through all their armor and hopefully take out some lipos today. So, I'm Tom Brewster, I'm from Turvey over in Bedfordshire, and my robot is Drizzle. Drizzle is a very nasty asymmetrical vertical bar spinner. However, it's most likely incredibly unstable, so uh, we'll see what happens. Whatever happens, happens. I'm here with Drizzle and Futamishi. First to Drizzle with Tom Brewster. Tell me about Drizzle and this massive spinner. <laughs> Drizzle is a terrible design, I'm not gonna lie. When you have a spinner this big, it may look a little bit scary, but it's so like big and high up off the ground, it's just gonna, it's gonna tip over. <laughs> How big does it come up? So it's nearly 300 millimeters effective diameter, so it's bigger than some featherweight spinners. Um, but as I say, I have no idea what's gonna happen when I try and drive and spin, so uh, hopefully the magnets will do something. <laughs> what are the chances of it exploding? Highly likely. <laughs> Highly likely. <laughs> well, good luck. And over to Futamishi with Morgan. Tell me about Futamishi. Well, we've got uh, a big axe on a drill motor, basically. So it's a lot of the weight invested in the axe, not much in anything else. What's your tactic going to be with Drizzle? Um, well, hopefully to go around to the side, so maybe it'll gyro over. If not, just drive into him and just smack him with the axe. Hopefully something happens. 
you're quite new to beta weight. Are you feeling nervous? Uh, a little bit, yeah, going up against something like that. I am, yeah. <laughs> well, good luck to both of you. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. So this is the battle of the giant weapons here. Oh, it's killed itself! Yes. Drizzle, over and out! Yes. Tom yes, Brewster breaking his own movement. record there. Movement! Effort. movement. Up, look, going slower, than, being out of the entire fight in less time than he was in Robot Wars. I'm sorry, did I blink? What happened? Has the fight started yet? I'm going to have to no see that again in the replays. Tom Brewster at one point was known as the eight second wonder. This has to be less than four seconds. Here's the spin up as Fudamishi comes in for an attack. Drizzle immediately catches itself, backflips over, and it's game over. That there is proof that if you compensate with your weapon size for a small robot, you are going to die. He was afraid of it exploding. What about it just not working in general? So... We have a contender for shortest fight of the competition. Oh dear. And, and also the least contact of a fight <laughs> in the competition. I'm not going to ask if that went to plan because it's obvious to everyone in the room that, that it didn't. Uh, it's, that's the danger with big spinners though, isn't it? That you might just total yourself or yeah. well, what happened? Do, it, do we know? I have no idea. No idea. I, I, something clipped something and I don't know until I see it. I mean, it looks all right, but I just I have no idea what happened. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see you in the losers' melee. Uh, can we have a big hand for Drizzle? Congratulations on the easiest place in the semi-final anyone has ever. I mean, I, it's a bit of a shame actually. We haven't really got a chance to see what your robot can do now. Have we? Yeah, yeah, we didn't really, did we? So. I mean, how how did you feel when when you found out you were fighting Drizzle in your first fight? Were you were you were you a bit scared? Dread, basically. Dread, but but you came through it so easily, and I mean, not be, not through your own efforts, no. but um, um, but no. Well, congratulations, and uh, you're going to be very fighting fit for the semi-final, aren't you? Well, let's hope so. Excellent. Can we have a big hand for Futa Mishi? I think my pulley came loose. On, the pulley came loose on my motor, and as you can see, it clipped the pulley and knocked it off. Um, I may have damaged my motor and I don't have a spare, so that's not the best start. Yeah. I need to have a, a proper look though, and I'll see. We are ready for the redemption melee. Joining me first is Serious Business, Darren. Your fight against Captain Doom didn't go too well for you, did it? What happened? Um, well, he just outclassed me entirely in driving. Um, Managed to bend the weapon motor, and then managed to beat us up on one of the walls. And your weapon came off. It did. It did come off. <laughs> um, hopefully resolved now. Hopefully back on a lot tighter. Everything should be fine. Good luck, Tom. Oh, no. Tom. Oh, no. Tom. <laughs> what happened, Tom? It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. So, so the 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 weapon motor pulley slid off the shaft, and as the weapon came round, it clipped it, and it you know it went over it KO'd itself it KO'd itself and it also bent the the weapon motor shaft so i've changed that over um i've i've used the entire world supply of super glue to keep this pulley on so hopefully it should be okay it should it should be all right <laughs> good luck and henry you lost both wheels last fight are these new wheels these are new wheels. Turns out tennis balls don't make good wheels. Uh, so we've got new wheels, held on with Loctite this time. And also last time, uh, one of the things that went wrong at the end, we actually ran out of battery just before we went in the pit. So we've got these batteries fully juiced up. They're a bigger battery. So hopefully that won't happen this time. Well, good luck, everybody. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. And the pressure is on now. All three teams. Oh, oh, kill itself. Oh, oh, what happened there? Don't went the pit. And end of it went good, boy. Drizzle finally doing something in its life. Nine, doing something. It absolutely destroyed our arena. Good boy to one look and just was like, no, screw this. Going in the pit. Serious business immobilized as well. Imagine what would happen if that had lasted longer than eight seconds. What a shock. Drizzle. Back through! I think, I think that we 
his best elimination. They're shocked, so are we. And where did that come from? Drizzle spinning up, getting a hit on Good Boy, and Good Boy hitting the Triggering pit so the hard pit. it forces itself through the pit floor. And another massive hit there onto the side of serious business. They had serious problems again, and they're out. Well, well, that was over a bit quickly, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, a little quicker than the last one, but it. And um, so, I, think, uh, I don't, I don't really want to ask you if your robot worked because it, it wasn't by the end. No, um, I got it got spun up, so that's you know better than the first round. Had time to, um, and that's about all it had time to do. Oh really? uh, well, and um, so I'm afraid that's you out of the main competition. But we will see you again in the in the big ten robot rumble. Are you are you excited for that? I'm more than excited for that. Give it up for Team Serious Business. <laughs> so, the rules state that the pit is not supposed to open. Yeah. Before thirty seconds. So I imagine you're a bit surprised you ended up in it after five. <laughs> Do you know what? I was, but at the same time, I think I win the, si the award for single greatest way to go out in this entire event. Yes, agreed, agreed, yeah, come on. Do, do you think it's going to be okay for, for the 10 Robot Rumble? I mean, it is probably going to be okay. I don't know how hard Tom hit it, evidently very hard. Well, excellent, so we look forward to seeing you in the Rumble. Give it up for Team Good Boy! Okay, Tom. You've had two fights, not including time spent counting out robots. They've in total lasted about five seconds. Uh, so, like, I mean, so does that make you now? You're like the the sprinter of the of of the of the of the fields. Uh, it was it was good to actually drive this time though, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, I'm just so pleased that I actually got to drive it for more than a few seconds before something happened. I mean, I'm pleased with that. Oh, what a hit that was. So are you feeling more covered now? You're back into the to the heat semi-finals? Yeah. You you feeling a bit better now? I'm honestly just really pleased that it worked. I've spent so long trying to get this robot ready and for it to fail the way it did in that first fight was just, you know, a bit a bit heartbreaking. But to see it actually work is just it's it's great. It's well, great. excellent. We look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. Everybody give it up for Drizzle! One of the robots that I hit, hit the roof so hard that he came down on the pit and opened the pit. I think it may have broken the mechanism slightly. Um, I'm just, I'm very pleased to see it actually work. We need a new wheel, a new that's wheel. for sure. Um, we're not getting any power at all. Mm. Short circuit so, uh, to someone. Yeah, I need to go over with the wiring, replace a wheel. It's good to go back in. I'm worried. But no, it, it's done well. I'm pleased with that. Go in the rumble. It's reliable. No. And that's one hell of a way to go out of an arena. Yeah. If you're okay. going to go out in style. I'm here with Captain Doom, who's going up against Futamishi in his next battle. I see you've swapped out the wedge and you've put the forks on now. Why is that? Um, well, um, it's because Futamishi is a wedge-based robot and... The D2 kit wedge is not very low unless it's at a, at a sh shallow angle. Um, so so uh, the forks are much lower than the D2 wedge. I think these will probably work really well against Futamishi. So your battle against Serious Business went pretty well. Your wedge took off his spinner. How do you feel about that? I think I felt like it wasn't screwed on right. You looking forward to the next fight? You ready for it? I'm definitely ready. Good. Good luck, Tyler. I'm here with Futamishi, who's going up against Captain Doom. Your last fight was over rather quickly, uh, which wasn't any of your doing. Your opponent kind of KO'd itself. Was that good for you? Uh, well, we didn't take any damage, so it's all positive. It was an easy win, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. How are you feeling about going up against Captain Doom? He is an amazing driver. How are you feeling about that? Well, I I'm, I'm think I'm going to get outmaneuvered a lot, but we've I've got a plan to get some acetate on the front, which make us hopefully lower than his front forks. And then if he does get underneath us, if I just flail the axe back and forth, I can't control it when I'm flailing the axe. So neither can he, hopefully. Good luck, Futamishi. The robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> 
Three, two, one, begin. Fudamishi here, the first real chance to prove itself, and it's failed so far, allowing Captain Doom to get in underneath using those front wedgelets there. Futamushi really needs to get that axe into play. It's a very powerful axe driven by a big motor, but it seems to be Ten, stuck on its side nine, and there's nothing happening. Eight, and there goes the seven, count. Six, Ref Tim five, stepping in there to start four, counting down Futamushi. Three, two, oh, what a sad performance one. that was. But what an yeah. awesome victory once more for Captain Doom. Little Tyler definitely proving himself. Right, so in your first fight, you didn't really get to fight at all. In that fight, you got, what, 10 seconds worth of fighting? Wow. That's, that's a, you've not really been able to do a lot while you're here, have you? Not really, no. And now, now you're out of the competition. Well, that's just how it goes, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. He can drive, can't he? Definitely, yeah. Well, yeah, he's an excellent driver, really is. Yeah, well, um, hard luck, but hopefully we'll see you again next time, yeah? Let's hope so, yeah. Good, good. Give it up for Futamishi, everybody. Yay! Right, Tyler, come here, come here. So that, that was a lot easier than you were expecting it to be, wasn't it? Actually, yeah. <laughs> you, d you don't mess about here, do you? <laughs> uh, no. It, I think it would be a lot harder if his axe would actually fire. I mean, there, there is that. Um, it, it seemed to be working fine, and then it just, it just didn't want... It got stage fright once the battle started. Sometimes that happens, right? You've now had two very impressive wins, yeah? So... Do you think you've now got a target on your back that everyone's going to be coming after you? Um, I, I do have a target on my back in the US and now I have one in the UK. That target on my back is just getting bigger. But surely that's more of a challenge. Do you, do you love the challenge or, or are you just a bit tired of it? I've, um, challenge is, is, is why I um, do competitive things. Right, excellent, right. Can we have a massive hand for Tyler and for Captain Doom? <laughs> That was, that was very impressive. I really like that. Worked well, all the way through testing. As soon as it goes into the arena, it blows up. So, just the way it goes. You've got a new um, ESC on there now and it works. So, yeah. Shame it couldn't have worked in the arena, but there you go. I'm here with Nightingale, who is going up against Drizzle next. Now, your weapon didn't work in the last fight. Is it ready for this fight? Uh, hopefully. We've borrowed some um, screws, ironically, from Good Boy uh, that are slightly longer, so it should help it hold in. You had a good fight, despite the weapon not working against Good Boy. You defeated them. How are you feeling about going up against Drizzle now that Drizzle is working very well? <laughs> A uh, bit scared, but we've made some uh, modifications, so it hopefully should be a bit lower on the front because it wasn't quite on the floor last time. So your tactic is to get underneath it? Yep. Well, hopefully they have quite thin top armour to the left and right of their vertical spinner, so hopefully we should be able to cut through that. Well, good luck, guys. Drizzle. You've come up through the redemptions. You, you've got back in the competition. How are you feeling now? Um, I'm feeling a lot happier now that I've seen it work. Um, you know, I was really gutted when it just sort of didn't work in that first fight. But um, after seeing what it can do, I'm feeling a bit more confident. Um, and I'm facing Night Nightingale next, who I know have really long forks. And I, I don't know if it'll get under them or if they'll get under me. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see. <laughs> what are your vulnerable bits to Nightingale saw? Um, so my, the whole thing is aluminium, which is, which is great. But the lids are only 2mm HDPE. So one thing I've done is I've put a small bit of stainless steel over the battery on this side. So if they do go for that, hopefully it'll survive. <laughs> Good luck. Thank the you. robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Nightingale looking to use those forks combined with that strong drive, oh but no, goodness. it doesn't matter. Drizzle. Have already taken themselves out. They've taken the weapon out, have they? It's not spinning. Drizzle have basically, that first hit on itself has done the first same thing it did in round one. It's taken its own weapon pulley out. But so look at the strength of the drive. That's actually the magnets. Underneath there, he's got two very powerful magnets pulling the robot down onto the floor. Makes it seem like it's a lot heavier than it actually Pit is. Enabled. The pit now activated. 
keeps the wedge flat on the floor. And luckily, Tom's designed this so as he can self-right. But if Drizzle ends up on its front again, which Nightingale can do with the way its front is designed. They've just triggered the pit there. Down it goes in the bottom corner of your picture. Nightingale trying to bring the saw in, but not having much success. The drive on Drizzle looking to be outpowering that of Nightingale. This has turned in very much into a driving game for Tom Brewster. Can he manage to keep Nightingale on the front of his robot just long enough to win this? He has no active weapon. Nightingale still has the saw, and it appears to be working at the moment. But, but not when it's in the pit! pit! What a fantastic victory for Drizzle there! Great style, great control. Nightingale in the pit! You, you survived the initial hit. Um, but you you didn't have the pushing power in the end. Yeah, the sole's so heavy it kind of uh, pulls it back on itself, so it's not perfectly on the floor on the front. So, but you know, you went. I mean, you lasted. I mean, well, more than five seconds with 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 drizzle. That that's got to be some level of achievement that you were able to tank that first hit. Yeah, I mean, the saw worked. It seems to have melted our pulley, which is just cheap 3D printed stuff. So it does not surprising. You've been excellent. Um, can we have a massive hand for Nightingale, please? <laughs> I think you had him for pushing power there. Yeah, I'm, I mean, w uh, losing the weapon, I mean, the forks got under them quite nicely and I was able to push them around. Um, and luckily when the, the pit was available, I opened it and got him in, so. Yeah, so we've shown th there is more to your robot than just its massive weapon. Yeah, um, and so, 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 so maybe when it comes down to doing, doing the dirty, maybe, maybe you can surprise a few people. Maybe, we'll see. I mean, that wasn't really meant to happen. The weapon was supposed to keep going, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's the ideal situation, but, uh, <laughs> but we, we, we get, like, look, your robot lasted more than a minute, so we, can, we need to give that credit, at least. Oh. Uh, you're through the heat final. Hey. Are you ready for that? It will be. <laughs> 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 it will be. Um, all right, everybody, give it up for your heat finalist, Drizzle! <laughs> In, in, our, in our haste to put it together, we didn't put all the bolts in at the back, as you can see. So the bulkhead's flexed, the weapon clipped the pulley and broke the shaft. So you need to replace that and redo the wiring, but it'll be properly ready. We're ready for the heat final, and I'm here with Captain Doom and our famous Doom Kid. You're up against Drizzle. How are you feeling about Drizzle? Oh. I'm feeling like if he doesn't break in one hit, he's probably going to be a pretty hard opponent. What's your strategy for beating up Drizzle? Well, I can probably take a few hits against him, so I'll try going head on and seeing if my force can get under him. And if that doesn't work, I'll try going to the side since vertical spinners are usually slower than four-wheeled wedges like mine. You had a good win against Futamishi. How are you feeling after that one? I'm feeling um, more confident than usual. That's good. Well, good luck, Tyler. And now I'm here with Drizzle, or I, I thought I was. Tom, where's your robot? Oh, right. I'm going through a bit of a dry spell. It's no problem. No problem at all. You know, after, after the fight and the robot killing itself again, um, there was a bit of a repair job to do, but it's okay. Battery's charging. I'll be ready. <laughs> How do you feel about going up against Captain Doom? He's quite the driver. He's going to be a tricky one. He's like the American Wonder Child, right? So everyone knows that he's won pretty much every Beatle competition under the sun in the US. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a tricky fight. Um, I think I've certainly got a big, a bigger weapon than he has, of course. But um, it's going to be a tricky fight. He's a very good driver. We've all seen what he can do. He's very, very confident as well. <laughs> um, but if, if my weapon's working and if I can consistently get underneath him with my forks, it, it could be quite an interesting fight. Well, good luck, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> the robots are ready. Let's get them to the arena. Roboteers, get ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Captain Doom looking to box rush Drizzle before he can get that spinner up to speed. Oh, got it. Oh, and he's got him. Yes. Throwing it into the side. Nine, <laughs> Drizzle eight, stuck on its front. Seven. Six, oh, that's five, such a shame. Four, Captain three, Doom just schooled two, Drizzle one. there. You're out of here. Tom Brewster eliminated by the American wonder child Tyler. Hi, neat and effective was that. That there was efficient. There was no messing about. Gets in, drives him into the corner, and then Drizzle's weapon did all the work for him, clattering him into the corner and just leaving him on his face. Well, 
your robot worked, <laughs> yeah. but that was about all it did. Yeah. No, to be fair, um, you know, he definitely outdrove me in that one, and uh, it was always a possibility that that would happen. But I'm happy the robot worked, and it was still working at the end. So, uh, well, you've not made it to the grand final yet. You can still, if you get yeah, through the five way. Yeah. Is yeah. it going to be working for that? Yeah. I mean, as I say, it was a relatively quick fight, um, but I'm happy it worked. And coming out of that fight, it's all still working. So I'll be fine. I'm ready for the uh, the five way. Yeah, I mean, when when the record books have like a list of the quickest fights in Bugglebots, <laughs> it's just gonna drizzle, drizzle, yeah. drizzle. <laughs> but no, like you've been you've been excellent. You've been a really great sport, and we'll see you in the five way. Um, maybe we'll see you in the grand yeah. final. Everybody, give it up for Drizzle! <laughs> was that easier than you expected? Um, I was ex I was expecting for him not to hit me, and that's what the forks are supposed to do. So, so it's just the robot has done its job? Definitely. You've been absolutely dispatching all of your opponents. You've just been cutting swathes through the competition. Do you think you're going to go all the way now? Is that, like, have you, have you, are, you, are you confident? I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident still. Because you've, really, you've not really been tested yet, do you think? Uh, I'll probably be tested in the grand final. Well, we hope so, otherwise it's going to be a very boring finish, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so, um, you're looking forward to it? Definitely. Good, right, we'll see you there. Everybody, give it up for Captain Doom! <laughs> if that's not persuaded you to come back next time, what will? We'll see you next time on BuggleBots! <laughs> We're gonna hit the competition hard and fast and uh, spin them right round. It's driven by the devil, basically. <laughs> it's a grabber, a titanium covered robot. I'm hoping to have a lot of fun and with the other robots. It's gonna do as best as it can. Ain't gonna promise much, but it'll do some of it. It's a beta weight drum robot, which will plunge everyone. I am gonna push him around, lift him up, be bling all over the arena with my jazzy lights. Last one!